What is up guys? Have you ever heard of Neuralink? Neuralink is another company that started by Elon Musk. Just like his other companies, Elon is trying to create a revolution in this department as well. In this company, there is a lot of research going on to create a chip that could be fitted inside the human brain. Neuralink has used their chip on different animals, including monkeys. But they are getting to a point where they want to use this brain chip on a human. Neuralink will be the first company to create a brain chip that will actually be fitted inside a human brain. Before this, any equipment that was made for the brain, it was located outside of the brain. There has been plenty of stuff made for other organs in our body, like for the heart or kidneys, and they get fitted inside the body, but there has never been something that was fitted inside the brain. We have to know that our brains work with signal, and with the signals, it could control the body. When you do something simple, like move your arm around, all this is happening because your brain is sending the signal to your arm. If we want to put it in simple words, your brain is wired to all of your muscles throughout your body, and the wiring is where the signal passes through. Any part of the body that loses connection to the brain will stop working. It's like a giant factory that's working with electricity and a computer. If you unplug everything, it will stop working. Like a person with a damaged spinal cord doesn't have feelings on the bottom half of their body. Neuralink scientists realize that a person with a cut spinal cord has the signals to move their legs but the connection that goes to the legs are disconnected, so the signal doesn't reach it. Elon Musk and Neuralink are trying to complete this wiring. And that means anywhere where the wiring is cut off, this system will help it work again. Putting something in the brain is not something new. It has been practiced for a very long time. Like in the Middle Ages, People that had mental illness, the doctors back then would poke a hole in their brain to let out the spirits so they can feel good again. And unfortunately, it never worked and it damaged them permanently. But in today's world, they're actually working on something serious that would actually help people. In the year 2012, it was the first time that a human could use their mind to move a robotic arm. Five years later, in 2017, a woman could use her brain to type something out. One year later, the same woman could control a tablet and actually type out a full email. In the year 2019, Neuralink placed their chip inside a pig's brain, and the plan was to look at a thousand brain signals and scan it. The signal that a brain sends is electricity, and that is why the chip has to be electric. In the year 2020, Neuralink placed a chip inside a monkey's brain. The cursor that was placed in the monkey's brain allowed it to actually control a cursor on the computer screen. The monkey showed Neuralink that this is possible and it might be time to use this chip on a human. If you remember in the pig's brain, 1000 signals were being scanned, but the chip that was placed in the monkey's brain was controlling 2048 signals. So if they plan on putting this chip inside the human's head, how would that take place? First of all, we have to say that this is a very serious brain surgery and it's no joke. You have to cut the skin, cut the human skull until you get to the inner dura layer. The dura layer is right before the brain and if you remove the layer, you reach the vessels that run over the brain. Once you remove the dura, that's when you insert the electrodes inside the human brain. It's like plugging in a wire into the wall. 
Right now, this is a very high risk procedure. There might be infection, internal bleeding, or permanent brain damage. Before any of this takes place and this chip is placed in a human's head, the FDA has to approve it. To this day, FDA has never approved any type of brain chip and Neuralink will be the first chip that will actually be inserted in a brain. All the research that Neuralink done on different animals and monkeys, they have sent it to the FDA so they can get the approval and actually start working on humans. A few weeks ago, the FDA received the Neuralink research papers and they have said they're gonna need a few months to review it and they will return the answer by 2023. But Neuralink is optimistic and they believe it will actually work out, something that will actually create a revolution. If this chip successfully enters the human brain, it could solve a lot of issues. It could help out a lot of disabled people. Just like we said, everything the human does is because of different brain signals. If the signals actually get to the place where they need to be, the body will work beautifully. So we can say people that have vision problems, hearing problems, diseases like Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, or even mental illness like schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, and others, they could be helped out. If you don't know Elon Musk, he never gives up, and anything he works on, he tries to be the best at. One of the first online banks that was PayPal was created by Elon Musk. The first successful electric vehicle company was created by this guy. The same thing Elon Musk did to the electric vehicle market, where every company is hopping on and creating their own electric vehicle. He did the same thing to neuroscience. And a lot of neuroscientists want to learn from Neuralink and they want to help out with the research on how to make life better for people that have issues. People that love conspiracy theories have not stayed quiet about this one. They say this guy wants to put something in our brain and make everybody a robot or a slave. But this is a conspiracy theory and we can't accept it. Time will tell everything. What Neuralink did to neurology is really something to think about. And we could say something positive will come out of this one because the research they're doing will only teach us more about how the brain works.